Shopify SEO tutorial for 2024. Welcome to Rank Your YouTube channel, whereby I've already created great how-to tutorials regarding search engine optimization. Although I have been creating tutorials using WordPress content management system as an example, in this video session, I'm going to create how to optimize a Shopify store if rank your followers actually manage an e-commerce store built on Shopify. We're going to take a sample Shopify store as an example. Furthermore, I've created a test site so that I can show you how you need to approach search engine optimization for the year 2024. In fact, when you learn from Rankia, that means you'll improve your website's performance, you'll improve your conversions, as well as, if you're using Google Search Console, Core Web Vital scores will improve. That means your Shopify store will have good URLs in terms of Google Analysis. Shopify Content Management System is great. If you've been using it, you know how simple it is to have an e-commerce store using Shopify. But by default, first thing you need to understand about the latest changes that Google is making, it's all about creating helpful, reliable, people-first content. So long gone are the days that you could just create an e-commerce store, target few keywords, and enjoy free website traffic eternally. Those days are gone. That means search engine optimization of any website has now become absolutely critical because it's related to the experience a person has when they land on a web page. That's what Google is focusing on and the insights that you're learning will be a must to know in 2024 anyway. So by default, we have, you know, e-commerce store, we have products and so on. So first thing we need to understand about Google rankings is, you know what? It looks at the URL. It analyzes the entire web page, but it looks at keywords mainly to ask itself, as in the algorithm say, okay, what are the words? That means when you create your products, first ask yourself, okay, can I include some of my important keywords in the URL itself? So when you create the title, have that in the back of your mind. You can surely conduct keyword research and rank your YouTube channel has tutorials for keyword research. So does rank your website. So you can learn more about keyword research. I won't cover that. Then another great opportunity for Shopify store optimization is the images. Because most products will have images, right? Yeah. In this sample example, let's close that out. In this sample example, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe more. At this moment, the latest changes that Google is making, it's mainly related to the page experience the person has, but also when the page loads faster, it provides a better user experience. So Google rewards websites that load fast. In this example, if I own this Shopify store, I then would have to ask myself, you know what? This particular image compared to this one, can I remove one of them? Make sense? So that question must be asked by you. Only include images that you know it's going to help your conversion as in your sales. Then the next part 
of a Shopify SEO is the size of the images. Since mobile device usage is on the rise, the size of the image is important because it affects page load times. Then asking ourselves, can I find a balance? As in, you look at the size of your image that you've already uploaded, triple check down on your computer perhaps, look at the size and say, hmm, is it a large image? Here, image size is 1200 pixels. Hmm, then can I make it 800 pixels? Make sense? So now all of a sudden I've reduced the image size. Then, since Google analyzes keywords, Google also is an image search engine. That means it can analyze the words within the image of the product as well, or any image. That means whatever the target keywords that you're using, obviously your product images will be related to your target keywords. If that's the case, learn to include some of your important keywords in the product image file name itself. Yeah, since Google analyzes keywords a lot, in this example, take a look at what's missing here. What's missing is the leather. So, as an example, if this was a leather belt, and pre, this is a cowhide leather belt, but where is the keyword leather in the URL portion? So that's a great opportunity this store owner is missing out on. For your Shopify store, you don't want to make that honest mistake. That means keywords are the key for Google rankings. Include them in the URL portion whenever possible for your products, particularly, or your blog posts. Then page title, then you describe perhaps within 120, 140 character limit describe the product at this moment remember the latest google changes for 2024 it's creating helpful reliable people first content that means we don't want to just include keyword after keyword thinking that's going to help google rankings it's not it doesn't work like that page title is important because it's w3 web standards each document should have a page title. Page titles are shown in the source code of a web page. In this example, let's find where the title is. There's the title. Okay, and then we have the meta descriptions, which come from your search engine listing. All right. So images are great opportunity for optimization for search engines, page title, meta description. But remember what's going on when we do these optimization techniques. We're not focused on Google per se, but rather people who will be visiting our Shopify store. Moving forward, most e-commerce site owners make a critical mistake and treat their website as if it's a business card of sort. Then your online store should have blogs. You should learn to start blogging. Why? The benefits are unbelievable. Even once a week, even if you're time pressed, focus on creating content for people. And blog posts are absolutely important for any type of website, including e-commerce sites. When you create the blog, you follow the same principles. That means, let's add a blog post. As an example, let's grab some dummy text here. Let's put the dummy text. Let's title it latest 
let's say as an example leather belts for 2024 for blog posts if you're in an industry whereby your keyword research has identified keyword patterns that include date ranges that's a great opportunity to utilize as in include within the blog post title which will then become the url then when you create blog posts you know you just create it for people what that means is when someone lands on your blog posts the experience that you provide for them is important that means if you structure your web pages including headings so instead of a paragraph tag let's just put that in heading 2 to break out the content structure then we can say how about heading 3 and so on okay so that will depend on the type of blog posts that you create your blog posts can include images you follow the same image optimization techniques that rank has already shared on rank a youtube channel then you edit the website you know title you can grab the blog post title from the top and place it there and simply describe the meta description let's say latest fashion leather belts <laughs> all right for 2024 let's just put that in there because it's a tutorial video right let's say buy leather belts online let's say secure shopping for uh, same day shipping as an example so then i've included the keywords without you know focusing on search engines per se but rather when someone searches google they may see the description meta descriptions are automated process in terms of google showing the meta description in its result set but when you describe the page in a natural manner focusing on people that's what google wants because it's going to help the website visitor when they search Google okay so title meta description is simple image optimization is absolutely important for Shopify stores content structure is critical for search engine optimization then with your blog posts what you can do is you can internal link to your product URLs okay so let's imagine that let's look at this test product let's look at this test product on the site itself okay let's go back there let's grab this url test product one so now what i can do if this test product was a leather belt that's in black color see the color here i've used australian english if your target audience was in australia then you would do that if not use us english but with this blog post latest leather belts for 2024 example because it is related to your target keywords now you can link the blog post content to your product urls boosting their google rankings let's link to that link title leather belt black color 
insert the link. You can always look at the source code, but I don't want to go into that depth, okay? Basically, Shopify's store makes content publishing simple, and it's used for e-commerce. That doesn't mean you should not be blogging. Blogging is critical because it helps grow your content on your Shopify store. And it gives you an opportunity to target different keywords, particularly long tail keywords can easily be ranked using rank to you know how to's and then you can use the blog posts for internal linking in fact this is a must if you want to grow your shopify business as in your business built on shopify now there is more advanced methods to optimize a shopify store but right now i've just showing you the basics of search engine optimization for your Shopify content management system store, okay? So follow these insights and then watch what happens. If you want to go a little bit more in depth in terms of technical, then you have two options. One is you can do it yourself or second, hire uh, an expert in search engine optimization. Because in the next video, I'm going to show you how to optimize the technical side of a Shopify store. Okay? One way or another, follow these insights. Once again, at the beginning, always ask yourself the apps because I worked on Shopify stores and my value clients end up using a lot of apps because Shopify has great plugins, great apps, but you don't want to use it just because it's available. You have to ask that question you know what the app is available but does it serve that purpose for higher conversions next images are absolutely great opportunity for shopify stores you can reduce the sizes if you've already uploaded large images then you can optimize the images by including your target keywords within the image file name itself then when you create the products or blog posts focus on page title include important keywords when appropriate describe the page content for your blog posts whatever you do make sure you learn to blog because it's going to help your shopify store furthermore before i close up most e-commerce site operators they get the product description from the manufacturer and then they publish that in the product description and so on you don't want to do that although some things you can perhaps use from the manufacturer website whenever you have the option to optimize the images at that moment ask yourself you know what is my product url unique because if it's somewhere else on internet then google may not rank your product images because when google analyzes the web page it looks at everything including images as well as text if this text on your product urls particularly is found elsewhere on internet then google doesn't want that because Google changes for 2024 are focusing on more helpful, more original content than previous years. As I've said, some things perhaps you can't change, but make sure that you focus on the unique original content. And when you create the description, when you use text on your website, you know ask yourself okay can i include some important keywords even in the product description in this example could they have included you know black and black leather belt that keyword is that in there and in this example the usability of this page is terrible because that text is too small 
So you want to focus on improving user experience because that's tied into website optimization. So let me wrap it up quick and easy method. Shopify content management system is a great content management system when you optimize it thoroughly and you can grow it into a successful business when you adhere to Google guidelines, which basically says focus on people by creating fast enough loading websites, original content, and thus when you follow Ranker tutorials, then there is no reason for your Shopify store not to succeed. I thank you for learning with Rankia. In the next video, I'm going to show you a bit more technical side of optimizing a Shopify store. Keep in mind that even if you don't have the technical skills, perhaps the insights in the next video, you can pass it on to your web developer and so on. Okay? I thank you for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.